I think Norway has, for many, many years, almost 200 years, had partnership with uh, Brazil. And uh, over the past uh, decades, there has been a growing uh, collaboration between Norway and Brazil in the oil and gas sector. Over the last five, six years, the interest in solar energy has grown in Brazil and in Norway. And uh, at the University of Oslo, we have research on uh, development of solar cell technology and also how to uh, put uh, renewable energy into the energy mix. Uh, the, str the strange thing about Norway is that we uh, have hydroelectric power and that basically covers the, the big potential. But we are building more and more micro uh, grids for solar energy, for example, in, in separate houses, in neighborhoods and so on. And that is also growing in Norway. We are not building huge solar power plants because of the, of the radiation is, is lower than here. However, so we have a lot of competence in this area building huge plants like for example Statoil and Scatec is doing up in Rio Grande do North is much much better here in Brazil than in Norway. So uh, what is, w but we are an energy nation uh, building on renewable energy and we have built a lot of competence in the solar energy area. So for example, it, also just in, in materials technology and nano, uh, material nanotechnology, we have a lot of competence, but we also have a lot of competence in the way we can uh, get renewable energy into the energy mix. For example, through our long tradition in hydroelectric power. And uh, when it comes to hydroelectric power, that's also the case in Brazil, you also have a lot of a hydroelectric power that can be used. Combine that, uh, yeah, you have water in magazines producing when it's not sun, and you can produce energy when it's sun, and you can balance that. And I think Brazil is in a very, very interesting country with respect to that as well. These events are very very important as a starting point because researchers they meet and they hook up with uh, each other and look at each other's interest and can start to discuss uh, possible projects and we know that there are very many good researchers here in brazil and uh, we want to hook we want to find them and a seminar like this helps us to find these people. The response from the public was very positive. A lot of good questions uh, came up. Uh, I think we, um, the areas we picked, which was material technology, nanotechnology, the two, the three last speakers, is a subject that is of huge interest to, to the University of Oslo. And it's also, we met people here who ha actually is working in the same area. The other uh, uh, presentations we had on the energy system also worked out quite well. Uh, I think in Norway we have worked a lot on digitalization in the energy domain. I think maybe we have worked more on that in Norway than in Brazil. However, you have maybe uh, more challenges and more interesting problems than we have in Norway at the moment. So, and, and of course, there must also be between researchers in different parts of the world complementarity is very good because if we do something that you can benefit from and vice versa that's perfect and we know that FAPESP and uh, the, uh, the Research Council of Norway has an agreement which makes it possible for us to, to attract some funding for, for future collaboration. Mm -hmm.